Okay, hey guys, I'm Logan, this is The Long Drive, and we are going to jump right back in. I have been super busy of late. I have been working on moving and all my normal stuff with my day job. It has been an interesting couple of weeks. So the way I'm moving is going to be completely different than how I would normally move. But I'm moving into a place that's ready. But what I've decided to do is kind of move bit by bit so i'm not doing one giant move all at once because i have my apartment for another two weeks from today no tomorrow today today two weeks from today so i've still got some time so i am moving things bit by bit i've hired some movers because i'm old i can't be carrying you know washers and dryers and couches up and down three flights of stairs anymore I just can't do it. Getting old sucks. So I decided I need to hire somebody. They're coming in. They're doing all that on one day. So the rest of the time I've been taking things off walls. I've been getting things ready. Trying to make sure that this place is ready to go. And then I've already taken about three loads of stuff to my new place. Another load's going tomorrow. Bunch of like clothes that I'm not going to wear between now and then. So they're already going to be there in the closet ready to go. I don't know if I like it. It's an interesting approach that I've not done before. On the one hand, it's a lot slower because everything is not obviously being done in one day we went airborne. Oh, bring it back, bring it back. Bring it back, bring it back. There we, nope, there we go, there we go, there we go. So everything's not being done in one day, which means that currently my place is tore all to pieces. There's stuff everywhere. And it's driving me nuts. I'm not a clean freak. I'm not OCD. Nothing like that. But I feel like things have its place. And when I've got stuff just laying everywhere, my brain kicks in and says, we need to fix it. So having all this stuff just laying around that I can't do anything with is starting to drive me a little nuts. But it's only for a couple more weeks and then everything will be done. I've taken also a different approach to it in that the movers because holy crap movers are expensive so they are primarily tasked with the big heavy stuff like i said the washer the dryer you know furniture big heavy things that i'm just too old and broken to carry up and down three flights of stairs so once they get all that done depending on how long it's taking because i have to have them for three hours minimum but I really don't want to go over that because, again, pay by the hour, not the job. So, we're going to see how that goes. Depending on how much time they've spent, I may have them take other stuff that's boxed and ready to go. It all just depends. So, guys, say something for me. I could really use the extra help. But anyway, so, we didn't get a Hydra near this week just because of that. And we're going to get... Obviously, the long drive. I don't know if anything will happen next week. As far as long drive, there might just have to be an off week where we don't get a new episode. Just because that's going to be that kind of final... Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. Okay. Uh, that kind of final week. I'm going to do what I can to try to get it out and get it there for you guys to watch, but I can't promise anything. So if I'm sparse for the next week or two, that's going to be why. But hopefully I'll be able to maintain a semi-regular upload schedule, which I mean we've, we've been able to do for the most part. Come on, slow it down. Come on, Christine. Bring it back. Been able to do for the most part, like I said, with the exception of missing this week's episode of the Hydraneer series. But it will be back. I don't plan on abandoning that. We're actually starting to make good progress. So I think we're doing well there. So let's see if there's... Oh, no, 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 no. Not here, not here. Okay. Uh, are there any zombies inside the garage? I don't see one. Let's come around back and check. I think we're safe. They seem to spawn much more frequently at other buildings they don't seem to spawn very often here and you know we drove right past that big ship and i'm kind of thinking we should go back and see if it has oil not oil gasoline because there's six tenths of a gallon 
but how much do we actually have in Christine? How are we doing? We are down to 46.8 liters. Um, that thing's full. That thing's full of gas. It's 20 liters. That's still not a full tank of gas. Oh, we're running way low on oil. Let's, uh, let's run in here and see if there is any oil. I did not realize the engine was so poorly on oil. So we'll fill that up. There we go. Glug, glug, glug. Still didn't fill it, fill it up completely. The engine coolant is fine. I'm really thinking that we might head back to that ship and try to find some fuel. Of course we're hungry. Always hungry it seems. Sorry my life. So I think let's run back to that ship. We're going to backtrack just a smidge to go to it. And we'll see if we can find some fuel in it just to top off the gas tank. So we don't need a ton, just like 30 liters or so. Which I mean to be honest is a decent amount. Oh, alright, let's go check that out. Alright, backtrack just a smidge. Hope we don't get rabbited or zombied on the way. So I think I mentioned last time, I've been playing the, uh, the new Hogwarts Harry Potter game. I call it the Harry Potter game, it's just always going to be Harry Potter. Regardless of if it actually features Harry or not. Same thing with the uh, the new Harry Potter movies. Everybody's like, they're not Harry Potter. It's wizarding world beasts things. I'm like, ah, I don't care. It's Harry Potter. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend if you're into open world RPG kind of games. Um, I've spent a lot of time in it, like 50 hours. But what's interesting, at least to me, is I was lamenting not too long ago that there hasn't been a game that really captured my attention in a long time. And I mean that in a way that, you know, I'm going to sit and play it for two, three, four hours at a time and not realize how much time has passed. You know, like Skyrim did it over a decade ago. Like I would sit and spend hours playing Skyrim when I was in college. And it just felt like it was an amazing game. I couldn't put it down. And nothing's really felt like that since. Until this game. I mean, I will sit down. I'll play two, three, four hours. And then I'll look at the clock and be like, Oh man, I've been playing this game for hours. And I didn't even realize it. So it definitely has that effect. Ooh, we got dark. And we have not found any gas. Well, any pure gas. I still don't understand what the point of mixing everything in these barrels is. I mean, the gas oil mix I get for the two-stroke. But just combining random things, I don't understand it. Alright, I think... I think, I think we're just going to take this one. And we'll call it a day. It's dark. I don't really want to spend the night here. So I think I'm just going to fill this up. That'll get us pretty close to a full tank. Uh, six, seven liters shy, I think. Not too shabby, I guess. Not too shabby at all. So we're going to fill this up as much as we can. And then we're going to boogie. What was that? What is that? What is that? Is that a rabbit? Oh, that's creepy. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, that's creepy. You can just see its eyes as it's bouncing around out there. Alright, yep, we're gonna get back in our car. I don't know if it's the direction the devs intended for this to take. But this game is getting like some crazy horror vibes to it with the zombies and nighttime and everything. I really don't know if that's what they intended, but man, is it working. Oh, we just overshot the road while we slept drive. There we go. All right, we're good. That could have been a lot worse, but we're good. We're good. 
Alright, so we got most of a full tank of gas. We've got almost all of our engine oil and almost our radiator completely full of water. So we are good for a little bit. There's a rock in the road. Okay, we're good. There's another rock. Okay, we weren't going fast enough for it to mess us up. Who, doggy. But yeah, that game has just really captured me in a way that nothing else has for a long time. Highly recommend if that's what you're into, those kind of games. Um, there are some things, of course. I mean, I don't like everything about it. The biggest gripe, two gripes that I have, and one of them is just an annoyance, is... Oh, no. Oh, yep. All right. So we lost one hubcap. I think that's all we lost. And honestly, I'm not super concerned because apparently we're already missing a hubcap anyway. That could have been a lot worse. Luckily, we pretty much landed on our wheels. Alright, yep. I'm not going back and looking for it. I didn't see it. So, I'm going to continue on. So, uh, yeah, one of my biggest gripes is the broom flying mechanic. Super cool. Love it. Great way to get around. But they did this weird thing where it's almost like flying a drone. You have one thumbstick for left, right, and forward, back, like easy movement. And then you have one button for just like full throttle kind of thing. And then the other thumbstick is reserved for altitude. I'm not a huge fan of that. I would have sacrificed the finite like minute right and left or forward and back movement for a traditional I guess kind of flight approach all right sorry about that so uh yeah the flight mechanics super weird not a fan don't like that really at all the other big gripe that I have so every game is gonna have these you know Skyrim had it Stones of Baron Zaya a ridiculous fetch quest where you have to go and collect like 30 40 50 things which is fine all of them have it I don't like it I rarely do them if ever the thing I did not like about it in this game they locked a major game mechanic behind that ridiculous fetch quest so in order to get one of the main spells the way to unlock locks and to get into locked places you have to do this ridiculous fetch quest they give you the first level right away, which is fine, because that helps you get to some. But then, there's two more levels of locks, like difficulties. And you have to go on this fetch quest and collect a crazy number of these things just to keep getting the ability to do more and more of them. It's, it's terrible. I hate that so much. And, of course, there's things later in the game that you have to be able to do that for. So it's like, oh... Oh, you're not going to be able to progress through here because you don't have the strength level, luck picking ability, whatever, to do this. It's awful. I, I don't like it in the slightest. So hopefully they kind of fix that up a little bit in a sequel, which I'm sure they're going to make a sequel to games selling like hotcakes and getting rave reviews. So hopefully they fix that in the future games. Of course, the lock picking itself is tedious, but it's nothing too bad. It's just, I mean, turn one stick until you get a buzz, turn the other stick until you get a buzz, bing bang, there you go. I do kind of wish that as you progressed, so like level one, you have to do all the level one locks because you don't know anything more. But at like level two, all the level ones would just instantly open. It just bypasses the little mini game. And then level 3, it bypasses levels 1 and 2. I just feel like that would have been a good idea. But I'm not a game dev. Nobody asked my opinion and we are flipping like crazy. Oh, just from that little tiny... Oh no, what was that? Oh, what was... Oh no. Oh, we're losing stuff like crazy. What all have we lost? Oh, there is all kinds of stuff strewn about the desert now. Okay, um three mirrors okay it looks like it was just the mirrors okay it certainly looked like a lot more I'm still not entirely convinced that it wasn't more 
I feel like I saw a lot more than three mirrors. It definitely feels like it was more than a couple of mirrors. Uh, all right, let's get this one on. Um, I guess it goes on the other side and it goes right there. All right, I saw the other one. I guess it's back over here somewhere. There it is. I knew I saw it. I swear it feels like it was more than just mirrors that went flying. Wait, what are you? What are you? Probably a hubcap. Yeah, that's probably a hubcap. I think we've lost all the hubcaps at this point. Not that it really matters. I mean, hubcaps are hubcaps. We lose them all the time. It's not a headlight. We have all our headlights. I guess let's, uh, let's run over here really quick and see what that was. I'm quite interested. What are you? What are you? Oh, you're a visor. Okay, so it was more than mirrors, but it wasn't anything useful. Because, like, it's a visor, who cares? They just kind of are in the way anyway. Okay, why are you... There we go. Alright, so there's the other... Yeah, I think that's just a hubcap. Okay, so I don't know about the other visor, where it is. But, uh, honestly, I kind of don't care. They're useless, to be honest. Dang nabbit. Come on. There we go. Alright, um, bibbity bobbity boo I see you. Alright, nothing else. Cool. I'll drink that. Ooh, we are thirsty as all get out. Um, doopity doop doop, your water. There we go. I did not realize how thirsty we were. Ooh, that could have been bad. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't think about it. We ate, but we didn't... drink. That could have been bad. Alright, so now... Not thirsty. Cool. We are hydrated. We grabbed us a bite of bacon. The car has been repaired from the wreck. And we are set. Cool. Alright, but unfortunately we are going to have to call it here, guys. I know this has been a really short episode. Different. Um, feels a little rushed, I'm sure. But it should still be about 20 minutes or so, 10 minutes shy of normal. But I've got so much going on, but I just wanted to hop back in, make sure a video got out, and to let you guys know exactly what's happening and what's going on. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with me through the move and through the weird upload schedule, all that fun stuff. So, guys, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. As always, I am Logan. This is The Long Drive, and I will catch you next time.